Carter Tilly's Bowl. Welcome back to my channel. So, as the title says, this is going to be my last Wednesday video, my last vlog for a while. This is going to be a feeding video, but I wanted to get to the title first so that way you're not waiting the whole video to figure out what's going on and I didn't want to do that to you guys. So yes, this is going to be my last vlog for a little while and let me explain to you why. So there's actually a few different reasons and this is something that I've been thinking about for a little while. So when I first started doing vlogs, I specifically said that I didn't really want to just randomly do this if I didn't have something to record I wanted to skip them and only put out videos if there was something going on and <laughs> I didn't do that I started doing my Wednesday videos and then I just wanted to do them every Wednesday so I just kept going and going and going and I honestly feel like I've kind of run out of things to show you guys my animal routine is basically always the same and I've shown feeding my animals how I feed my animals routines I've shown vacations things like that and I'm kind of just out of things to show you guys now in the event that something does happen and I go somewhere or I do something with animals that I want to put in a vlog I'm still gonna randomly sprinkle Wednesday videos throughout but it's definitely not gonna be very often at all and it's only gonna be a something's going on and on top of all that my husband just got a new job as you guys know we do have children on top of all the animals that we have so with him going back to work that means that I am going to be doing more around the house and that means less time for videos now don't worry my Sunday videos are always gonna be my Sunday videos those are not gonna change at all but we just kind of need to slow down and in addition to all of that winter is coming so that means all of my animals are also slowing down Zaz has actually started going into brumation this is something that she will do back and forth she has never fully gone into brumation she'll kind of come in and out of it and that's just something that she's always done but she's actually kind of seeming like she might go into full brumation this time so we shall see but my animals are slowing down my snakes are slowing down eating yeah everything's slowing down so there's really nothing for me to show you guys so yeah Wednesday videos at this point are going to stop and maybe you'll get a surprise Wednesday video one day I don't know but for right now those are going to stop but I will still see you guys every single Sunday for my Sunday videos and that's it let's get to me feeding those animals so first of all we are going to warm up the rats for the snakes there are two rats and one mouse here because I forgot to record this part and my corn snake has already eaten his first mouse at this point but yeah we are warming up those mice and we're gonna feed my snakes the corn snake like I said is now eating two mice he needs to size up but he will not eat anything bigger than what we are currently giving him and he acts like he's starving after he eats his first mouse every single time so he is eating two mice and and you can see the excitement here, how excited he is when we bring food in. He knows that we're coming and he just waits for us. And for mouse number two, it was kind of dark, but you can see that he is coming out again. He can actually see my husband holding the mouse on the other side of the glass and he is trying to get through that glass to get the mouse. This is his excitement yet again. And then my dog walked in and distracted him and he saw movement and we had to show him that the mouse was on this side again. He looks like he's ready to take on a whole dog for his meal, but he finally took the mouse. And then we have Sylvanas. We tried to give her her rat and we really thought she was going to take it because she was sitting there waiting and you can kind of see her body right there is kind of pulling back and acting like she's gonna take it and she didn't, so that's okay. So we ended up just giving that rat to Sterling and you can immediately see how excited he was because he is hunting that rat. Ah! 
And we went ahead and tried one more time with that other rat for Sylvanas since it was already thawed out and heated up, but she still said no thank you. This same day, I also made a pet smart run to get some animal supplies. I got a 12 count of night crawlers, a hundred count of mealworms, which usually I get for my local pet store, but I was already there and I decided just to go ahead and pick it up while I was there. And I also got some minnows and some more fish food and things like that. But that is what I picked up there because my animals were low and I didn't realize. Also, I get asked why I don't breed my own mealworms. I do, but they always run out and I have to buy more. So I think I really just need to upgrade my breeding operation to keep up with my animals. And there's Handsome Jack. I am not going to be feeding him because in this video it is super late. You can see that his lights are off and it is after nine o'clock, but I am excited because I got him these brine shrimp to try. I just wanted to switch up his diet a little bit because right now he's eating frozen blood worms and betta flake food. And I just wanted to give him something different. So I'm kind of excited to try this. This was also in my PetSmart run today, but I'm just excited to have him try something new and I really hope that he likes these. Dexter! I can't record him eating, but I did just get done spraying his tank in this video and he's just licking the water off of his eyes and looking super cute. And then we have Goliath and you can see she actually has a little belly going on. She is finally gaining weight. Out of all of my reptiles, she definitely has grown the absolute slowest and she's finally getting to a point where I can physically see that she's growing and that is super exciting to me. There's a little kink in her tail, which is super cute, but I'm just so excited that she's finally growing. And then we have Percy very anxiously awaiting her food. She gets excited now. She only eats every other day at the vet's recommendation and she gets super excited when it is her feeding day. As you can see, she is following the camera because she wants to eat so badly. So let's feed a Percy. And there is Zaz in her hide where she has been spending most of her time in the last week ever since the temperature dipped really low. Her temperature in her house stays the same, but she is in a room with multiple windows. She is in my living room. So she can sense the overall changes in the lighting outside as well as her cool side in her tank will have dropped a couple degrees because my entire house has dropped a couple degrees. And I will be doing a video very soon on brumation of bearded dragons and how to tell when they're going into it and what to do and all that stuff so stay tuned for that super gross but i just opened up my night crawlers and this is what i found this is why it's always important to check the worms before you leave the store ew because of the lack of night crawlers, I had to attempt to feed Beyond mealworms and he really doesn't care for those at all. So I didn't expect this to go well, but today as I am recording this voiceover, it is the next day and I have returned those night crawlers to the pet store and swapped them out. And now he has night crawlers that are alive and well, and he will be eating those tonight. And there are the minnows that I got for my rope fish. I feel really bad feeding him live food, but the only thing he will eat is live food. He will also eat live night crawlers occasionally, but for the past week or so, he's refusing those too. So I had to go get minnows for him and he had a very big meal. So he is happy at the moment. He's just so cool to watch. And it's also so cool to me that he knows which food that he can eat, which ones are minnows. And he just leaves all of the other fish alone, which is awesome. And then we have a gorgeous Morty who's hanging out of his hide. He just shed, so he is looking so pretty. He's always so pretty, but when he sheds, he is absolutely gorgeous. I am definitely going to have to clean out this tank because <laughs> look at that, there is skin everywhere. But his colors after he sheds always completely blows me away. But 
that is it for this week guys and that is it for the vlogs it's super sad this feels so weird my goal was to go to 100 and i clearly did not do that so sad face but it feels so weird to be signing off of the vlogs forever at least for a while that is it as always if you are not already please feel free to follow me on my other socials where hopefully i will be posting more since i will be filming less and like subscribe and hit that bell for notifications every single time i put out a new video which is every sunday just sunday whoa thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you have a fantastic day bye I feel like I look so tired and my forehead is so broken out. I have never broken out in my life this bad and I am 26 years old and I'm starting to get acne and now there's garbage trucks in the background so.